It's mostly a virtual engagement with people gathered in small groups or on their own. People living with sickle cell anemia and experts in the condition are in attendance. A lawyer and founder of Hyma Health Initiative teases a panel discussion with some of the challenges people living with sickle cell disorder face. Um, I would say sickle cell as a non-communicable disease is not given the priority that it should be, both at the government um, um, stage and at the international stage. And unfortunately, in Nigeria, it seems that um, like our health priorities are set more on an international stage because it tends to go where the funding is going. Questions is such as, no will I live beyond my 18th birthday? No and how does one handle being different coming from sickle cell champions? I kind of like made a conscious decision that if I'm not able to meet up to my mates physically, then I have to be able to surpass them mentally. Hence, I started working on myself mentally. Take a lot of rest. Feel your body. You mustn't do what others are doing. If you're tired, learn to rest. And I, 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 I believe as a teacher, I'm a school teacher, I've seen um, uh, warriors that are very intelligent. Not, I've not taught any warrior that is dumb. I encourage them that they can make the best they can have in life. I also encourage parents, don't look down on any child. We see those that are not SS that are dying. Why see class are alive? The chairman of the occasion talks about interventions which have improved quality of life, while the national director and chief executive officer of Sickle Cell Foundation Nigeria assures the champions that life expectancy for them is no longer short. You are going to live past 18. You are going to live past 20 and more. So we are doing better and better. It's not all doom and gloom. Let's emphasize that. There's so much hope now, as I said. There are disease-modifying drugs, what the, the, the first of which was hydroxyurea to be licensed and approved, it has made a lot of difference to the lives of sickle cell patients. There's no question that hydroxyurea helps. To solve the problem of institutions' reluctance to treat sickle cell champions, the Sickle Cell Foundation is introducing a waiting list and calling on private concerns to contribute to the initiative for their seamless treatment in hospitals. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News.